Hey guys, I'm Shubhanka Dev from TechFun's Gadgets and today I'm going to show you how to install Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your Moto E 2014 and first of all I want to wish you a happy new year and for that I have a little treat for you that's Android Marshmallow 6.0 an official build but it's quite stable for daily driver for use, you know so let's get started so first of all power off your device Then wait for a few seconds, like it's over. <laughs> Funny. Now click on power on button and volume down button together. And now here in the fast boot mode. So first, uh, in order to install an Android 6.0 or to tweak your device, you need to have a unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. I'll uh, show you that in a moment. In order to do that you can check out my other video. You can see it's probably up on a card right now or you can check out the description how to install a custom recovery and unlock your bootloader. Boot so now click on your volume down button once and volume up button. It's showing warning bootloader unlocked but don't worry it's okay. I have a team in recovery installed is the best for the business. Now you're in the recovery mode. So first what you need to do, you should have backed up your data and services to Google servers and your SD card or something else because you are now going to wipe your device clean. And so, so first of all you need to download three files for installing Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your Moto E 2014. It's probably right now on the screen. This is the Cyanogen Mod 13 file that's the original ROM file for your Sanjin 13 ROM and so go ahead and download it and go ahead and download another Google Apps file from another three files in the description below it's a uh, you should go for the smaller lesser one that's 200 or 400 megabytes that would be great for your device and so after downloading that go back into the recovery mode and move your device to your SD card or phone memory whatever you like and then power off your device and go to recovery mode. So you should have the three files into your recovery mode by now. And so go to wipe, go to advanced wipe. In advanced wipe, click on Dalby Cache, system, data, and nothing else. And don't delete micro SD card because all your files or even the three files or the two files of the you know the original originals Sanjin Mod 13 file and the gas file well, will be located in SD card. I think that's most people will do. And so click on swipe to flash. Is erasing your data. Again, make sure you have the both Sanjin Mod 13 file and the gaps file in your device right now. Then after erasing your data, go to install and yeah, if you have it in the SD card or internal storage, it would be listed right below the Sanjin Mod 13 file and the gaps file. Or if it's in the SD card, external SD card, go to upper level, find external SD, external SD, and you should have listed below and here we go two now click on 13 and now swipe to confirm flash now wait for a few minutes or few seconds depending on how fast it will be oh let me tell you that everything works fine in this device after installing Android 6.0 Marshmallow and also uh, this is the unofficial build and so if there is an official build I'll post them below and I'll update them the links in the below in the description and this uh, ROM is fit for daily driver as you can use it a daily driver everything works fine dual sim internet messaging phone calls everything so don't be worried you can get a test of marshmallow but do this everything at your own risk I'm not responsible for anything harm um, device or to anyone else 
You can also flash sheet one by one that's like first the sandwich in mode 13 file and then the gaps file. I think that's the that's the more beautiful or the best option to do that. Now add go to home first and go to install again and then go to slim mini gaps or whatever gaps you have and then flash it. So first sandwich in mode 13 file then go back to home and then flash gaps. Now it's successful. Now go back to home. Now what you need to do is that you have finished installing or what you can say flashing your Sanogen Mod 13 for Android 6.0 that is Android 6.0 on a Moto E2013 and now go to reboot and go to system wait and that's Sanogen Mod 13 wait for it I love this boot animation. Let's get this happen, then let's get this done. Whatever. I'll be back in a few minutes. It will take some time, but don't worry. Stay focused. So, first boot is done. It's on now. Sanjin welcome screen. You can see. Now choose your country. Click on next. Set Wi Fi network. I'll skip that skip you can enter your sim card help improve sanogen mod next next date and time next you can later set it up and now let's welcome sanogen 13 that's android 6.0 marshmallow on moto e click on start and that's it so now let's check it's wonderful. Sandix SD card link. That's a new marshmallow feature. You can now use your inter external SD card as internal storage. Awesome. Now let's see the version. The about phone. And that's it. 6.0 for Moto E. And so thanks you guys for watching. If this video helped you, please give us a thumb up, thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel to see more helpful videos like this and enjoy Android Marshmallow. See you again in the next one. Bye guys.